Welcome to the Enlightened Voice. Stay high, my friends. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to another segment of the Enlightened Voice. I don't even sound like myself, <clears throat> but I'm not trying to do that. Um, I feel like my voice has kind of just changed a little on me and like, <clears throat> honestly, in the last fucking five minutes. Okay, there we go. So, where where have I been? <laughs> like, not even where have you guys been, where have I been? Like, uh, this is like, what? I didn't do a I didn't do a video last week. I'm doing one now. And honestly, this video is just to kind of tell you that I had COVID. So, <laughs> I don't even have a strain for you guys, but I figured I definitely owed you a video explaining, like, why I didn't make a video last week. Not that I have, like, this crazy huge following of people that want to know what the fuck I'm doing at all times. But I definitely did have COVID. That's the reason. It was, it was. I had so many plans, you guys. I'm gonna roll this blunt while I talk to you, while explaining. Say hi to Greg. Um, oh, uh, well, the one great thing of news uh, that I did see is that we're at 99 subscribers. So coming out of COVID to see that I have 99 subscribers and we're about to hit 100 subscribers, it's kind of lit. I'm not even gonna fucking lie, but I'm sorry. <laughs> So, I'm definitely going to try to do something as soon as we hit, like, 100 subscribers. So, with that being said, like, comment, subscribe. Even this video, go watch some of my older videos. They're, they're much more enthusiastic and much nicer. Um, Yeah, you guys, it kind of hit me out of nowhere. So, um, story time. Uh, I'm lazy. That's fuck. So... What I was trying to do, my boss uh, at the job I company I work for, my boss was like, hey, do you guys going to go work for another company? We, you know, it's like an extra day on your check, blah, blah, blah. Of course, old Chris would have said no instantly every time. It's like, no, fuck that. Why would I want to go do that? I could just have a day off. I'm trying to break out of these ways. So I go do the job. It's like at least 25 niggas there. For some reason, I forgot about COVID. So I was kind of like pulling my mask down to talk sometimes and then kind of pulling it back up, kind of touch my face. I can't really say when I got it there, but I know I got it there because everybody that went to that particular job, we all got sick. So that's where I got the COVID from, sadly enough. Now, the worst part about the COVID, one, my condolences to, to everybody, not, not that it took me having it to understand, but a little bit, a little bit, like I, it, the, the respiratory, the nose, the breathing, I see why people are dying. So my condolences to anybody who had it, has it, fighting through it, lost someone through it, like that shit is crazy. It is no joke. Like I actually went to sleep one, one night when I had it thinking that I, it's not that you can't breathe. But it's in my mind, I was like, I don't know if my body's going to breathe through my mouth. If my It was just some weird thing. But it was just like, bro, I really did go to bed thinking, like, I could die tonight. Or at least wake up in a hospital. <laughs> so, like, but it was just crazy because you can breathe. But it's it's like, it's like, like well, the, the, the virus already attaches to your uh, receptors in your nose anyway. That's how your sense of smell gets killed and your sense of taste and everything like that. So, but when it can, when I'm imagining when it binds to that, it's kind of like fucking everything up. So now it's like you don't even feel like you can breathe properly, or you're not breathing right, or it's like I felt like my nasal passages were like that, like like they were just like really, and then it felt inflamed kind of, but not like super inflamed. So like I didn't, I wasn't sure if my nasal passages was that small or if I just felt like that. But scary stuff. Um, so, I did have a strain for you. Do I have it in here? I mean, it's all gone now. But... No, I don't even have, like, I have it in here. So, I did have a strain for you guys. Um, I wanted to do this new G-Leaf strain by, uh, by G-Leaf, of course. <laughs> Some things don't change. Um, it was orangutan tea. My God, it was fucking, um. Grease Monkey and Zittles, baby. When well, I smell finally did come back, and it's come back, but not at full force. But honestly, I, it might not ever come back in full force. But at least from what I was reading and everything, it could possibly, it has come back. So 
It came back really quickly because they did say some people were waiting like five months for that uh, sense of smell to come back. And I was like, damn, that kind of sucks. And I was going to really have... I meant to make a video for you guys last week explaining that I did have COVID while I had COVID. Cause... But ah, I got the sense of smell kind of made me all depressed and whatnot because I was just like, bro, like the one thing I really do enjoy is cracking open my weed and smelling it before I smoke it. Like even, even if I don't always smoke it, I'm still cracking it open and smelling it from time to time so and that kind of really like put a down like a rain cloud all over like a storm that i was already having because the covid was enough but when the sense of smell went and i and i didn't even know how tied a sense of smell is to a sense of taste oh god you your sense of taste is nothing without your sense of smell remember that so, but yeah, I had the orangutan tea, and like I said, this is not really a, a video about this. This is just me generally having me rolling a blunt, but this is what we got. So this, I'm not entirely sure. I feel like I do way too many cookie videos or Calta or Evermore. So, of course, these are my, like, top tier thing. Not not necessarily Calta without cookies, but something strange. But, so I didn't... I, I haven't opened this because generally I couldn't smell anything. I didn't want to waste it, so I was like, yeah. But that's the new strain, the fly. We're about to roll um, a little blunt of Ocean Beach and Blanco. I find that they work very, very well together. Ocean Beach has a very, very nice head high. Oh, my. Well, so, so mellow, so nice. Tastes really good. Blanco at 30%. Adds on to that nice little uh, head high. It, it, it just is a nice mellow head high when I found when I smoked these two. But I might just honestly go for the Ocean Beach. But again, this is not about Ocean Beach. But shouts out, you know, to everybody that went and got all the cookies, drops, and everything. I was out there. I was masked up. So trust me, I ain't, I ain't getting none of y'all sick. I definitely put hand sanitizer on every time. Or I had the little mask on every single time. I still believe that, but yeah. So generally, like I said, this video is not even gonna be too long. I might just stop. There's no real reason I need to smoke on camera. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know exactly what was going on with your friendly neighborhood. I'm not really a bud tender, but, <laughs> you know the enlightened voice. Just let you guys know what's happening with with me and everything. Of course. This will probably be the video for this week because it gives me a little bit because I'm also going through some other adulting things. So um, this will give me another good week to find another strain to do because granted, I do want to do the orangutan tea, but I have not looked back and seen if it's still out yet. So uh, I got to see if I will be able to grab that and even get another one. Um, shout out to shit i forgot his ex i forgot his youtube name but one of my other um guys that comments but he gonna know who i'm talking about but um shout out to my tim uh y'all making me i'm gonna probably do a gelato cake uh video at the same time but like i told in the comments i i don't know bro gelato cake has never hit me like it's hit y'all like and i'm not saying that you've not you're not you're lying or anything like that because i've had like my home like one of my personal personal friends i used to work with he stands by uh, my um v don't sell weed on instagram go follow my man i'm probably gonna put some blanca but he was he boy that nigga stands by gelato cake like what Mm, 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 mm. He, I think he almost he he close enough to the audacity of saying gelato cake is good as cookies. I think he has said that, but it, uh, uh, he blasphemizing in that in my eyes in that particular situation. But I will try one of them again because y'all do be saying it's so much fucking fire. But I just have not gotten smacked from it like as much as much as y'all saying it is as good. But um yeah give me like another week y'all to recover get back to work and everything and then i definitely got y'all on another stream review uh review video but yeah i just wanted to let you guys know if you got any suggestions besides of course it's honestly between the next stream video will probably be between the fly if i don't just enjoy this myself um the fly the orangutan tea or what was the one we were just I was just talking about? God, how does my memory fade so quickly? <laughs> Whichever one I was just talking about. The uh, yes, no, I said the orangutan too. Which one was I just the oh the other one? It was the fly, the orangutan too. 
Oh, and gelato cake. God, I'm so crazy, y'all. But um, it'll probably be between one of those three, unless like I find something crazy, crazy new that comes out and it's like, oh shit, I know these guys would love that. Cause like that's what happened with the Huckleberry Soda Number no. Five. Like Huckleberry Soda Number no. Five, I did not know about that same day when I was gonna make that video. When I was gonna make a video, so I was like, what? And then I just seen Huckleberry and I was like, oh shit, let's make a video about that. And um, shout out to the guy at the living room. Uh, he um, was telling me that when he looked up dead band number seven, I, th I told you this already, but um, my video was like one of the first things that pop up. So that's what made me do like a bunch of, that's what honestly kind of made me start looking up new strains that just dropped. Because when people do look it up, it kind of like, all right, oh shit, this guy, you know, and then they kind of look at my other videos and then we get popping from there, they even told you. <laughs> Trying to eat off the enlightened void. Hopefully we survive <laughs> to see that come to fruition though. <laughs> Which is just crazy. Mm -mm -mm. But this has just been a little update for y'all. I ain't gonna hold y'all too long. I ain't got really too much to say. Uh Ocean Beach is nice if y'all if y'all wanna go get some. <laughs> I wasn't I really wasn't prepared to make this video. I just I'm making this video because I feel like I need to let you guys know exactly what's going on. Or why I didn't make a video and all that other good stuff. But also comments um down below with any suggestions you guys might want to know or might want to uh the strains or any suggestions of what I should do once we hit 100 subscribers? Um, of course, like I said, we're going to make another cool video about that. And I love you guys for the support. I, I can't even stunt y'all. It's, it's it's, like I said, it's a little slow burn because I do see, uh, you know, all the people you see on YouTube with their little viral uh, success. And they instantly blow up. They make like one or two videos and then they just like, it's, it's something on my, um, on my, um, on my Facebook, I think he he blowing up a little bit faster than I would. Granted, he talking about something totally different, but <laughs> um, but it's just like you know, also you know, um, I can't be too mad though. You know, my time is my time, and his time is his time. So I shout him out. I'll be watching his videos as well too, even though I don't really know too much about um, that shit. Mm -hmm. You always got to support your people. Be a little envious, as long as you're still loyal, though. People be acting like oh, this is right. <laughs> People be acting like emotions don't still matter. Like nigga, yeah, I'm still envious because niggas still got it before me or getting bigger before me. Yeah, especially if I'm putting in work. If I'm lazy, if I'm a lazy fuck, then I can understand. But if I'm putting in work, nah, nigga, I'm kind of upset. <laughs> but as long as you don't cross people and shit like that, that makes sure your loyalty strong. Don't let your little emotions get ahead of you. You'll never know when your blessing comes. And you done fucked it up. But. <laughs> I'm about to enjoy this motherfucking fatty. I didn't even need to make it this motherfucking fat. <laughs> Honestly. I'm still recovering. I'll see you guys next week. With another strain video. If not. If not two to make up for y'all being okay with me being out. Say bye, Greg. Stay high, my friend.